Whoa! I can't believe all the people out here today! Has the population of this city gone haywire? This whole darn trade platform is shaking! Holy smokes! My name's Atsushi Muto. I recently entered college here in the city. I just moved here from out west. Pretty much the countryside. Everything I encounter here in the city is a first for me. It's like I landed on an alien planet. I've only been here for like two weeks. But all I do is just go back and forth from my dorm to school. But I gotta say, every day is like paradise. Everything I see is so fantastic. So many stylish and cool restaurants and cafes. I've only seen this kind of stuff on TV. Man, the sheer scale of everything in this city is out of this world. I take this seminar with this super handsome student named Takeru Kitamura. There's always like five or six girls constantly surrounding him whenever I walk into class and afterwards. Man, being here in the city is fantastic. Even the caliber of the students is way too cool. Uh, hey, where'd you buy those clothes? Huh? Are you talking to me? What's with you, Muto? You're in the way, you know. Stop butting in. Yeah, sorry. It's just that I arrived from out west like two weeks ago, and I have no idea where to buy any clothes. I was just wondering if someone would take me shopping so I can look cool, like Takeru. Uh, I doubt you and Takeru would have the same taste in clothes. He's way too cool for you, Muto. I just want to be a bit more stylish, and figured he would give me some hinters, that's all. Yeah, okay. Why not? For real?! Man, I didn't think you were such a nice guy! Back home, it was nothing like the city. We had like eight guys in my class. Being here in the city is so exciting! I have fun just walking around! Oh yeah? Sounds kinda lonely where you come from. Actually, it sounds like a nice place. Yeah, not a whole lot of people back in my hometown. But plenty of pigs and monkeys around! I would rather be with animals than people, to be honest. I'm adverse to people. I prefer being alone. I know, animals! They can get pretty nasty, biting and scratching and all. They're way more dangerous than people, man. Take my advice. Steer clear of them! Alright, Muto, relax. You're a funny guy. You know that, Atsushi? Uh, can I call you that? We may just get along. Takeru turned out to be a pretty nice guy. I was a bit surprised, to be honest. We started seeing each other on occasion. When I had some time off from my part-time job, we'd go out and shoot the breeze. He'd take me to these really cool bars and cafes. He's always taking me to these places with crowds of people. I gotta say, every day was a blast! But not every day was smooth sailing. That Kitamura guy's always so stuck up. I can't stand the patronizing way he's got. Yeah, he's supposed to be a model or something. And I hear his parents are rich. Showing off is more like it. Takiru's not showing off. You guys got him all wrong. He's just naturally cool and stylish. He's a good looking guy. But then again, he's sort of quiet and shy. I think that makes him sort of interesting. Quiet and shy, huh? Just putting on the cool act but he's actually a total blabbermouth. Like I said, you guys have got him all wrong. I urge you guys to talk to him and get to know him. You'll see. Takeru's a nice guy, as I said, but although the girls love him, the guys are not really fond of him. And so, they kind of envy him and resent him somewhat. It's like they're cautioning me to steer clear of him or something. I don't even know the guy very much, so why trash talk about him like that? All he's doing is using you to make himself look good with the girls. Better be careful, Atsushi, or you're gonna get burned one of these days. Don't you feel like an idiot just walking next to him knowing that? <laughs> Why do you say that? Being with him is actually kind of fun. He's an interesting guy. Did you know that Tak split up with his girlfriend recently? Apparently it was all because of Takeru. Yeah, I heard about that. But it was his girlfriend who dropped him because she had a crush on Takeru. It's not like he stole her away from him. Kawada, a guy in my class, likes this girl, 
but she also has a crush on Takiru. Well, Takiru's a good-looking guy. The girls have a crush on him. You can't fault him for that. He's not the kind of guy to purposely steal other people's girlfriends. He's just not the type of guy that would do that. Yeah, right. One of these days, you're gonna find that he took your girl. Then you'll change your tune. You're a country boy, too. So it makes it way easier. I don't need any of your advice. Anyways, I have no girlfriend, and don't expect to get one anytime soon. Girls don't flock to me like Takeru. I get into arguments about Takeru time and again with my classmates. I always seem to be sticking up for the guy. Hey, Muto. I'm really sorry, man. I hope the other guys in class aren't hassling you for hanging around with me. Just seems they're giving you a hard time. Just hope you don't lose friends for rubbing shoulders with me. You know what? I really had no idea people would have this reaction to you. I see now that being a good-looking guy has its problems. I can't understand it. Just being you? And they hate you for that? Go figure. I just wish they would chill out a bit. Yeah, but I can't really say that I have a super great personality or anything. I'm a bit closed-mouthed and self-conscious. So, uh, it was the same all during high school. I could never get any male friends. It had nothing to do with being good-looking or charming. It was totally my personality that was the problem. That's not true! They just don't understand you is all. All during my freshman year of college, Takeru and I were really good friends, going out as usual. As we started our sophomore year, this magnetism he had with girls never ceased. Boy, do I envy the guy. Hey, that must be your new girl. Wow, what a beauty. Yeah, that's right. Just hope she doesn't drop me. I better be more diligent this time. Takiru always seemed to attract this sort of flashy type that worked with him in his modeling job. They don't seem to last very long, to be honest. That guy is so darn stuck up. Who does he think he is, anyway? He switches girls every month. Is he supposed to be some kind of playboy? Hey, Atsushi! You keep palling around with this guy, and you'll never get a girlfriend. Takiru's not like that! He's not this so-called playboy that you think he is! You don't know the guy at all! These girls are so excited at first. But we go out for a while, and they say I'm boring, and they want to break up right away. Yeah, but at least they're in awe of you. In junior high, I was alone. And in high school? All alone. It's like the girls avoided me like the plague. I envy you. I did go out with one girl in high school, but I sort of begged her. It wasn't as if she was lusting after me or anything. It didn't last long anyways. You have no idea how good you have it, man. Just about the time we finished our sophomore year, I finally got my first girlfriend. A nice girl a year younger than me. I suppose I was a little giddy with joy. Hey, Takiru! I finally got a girlfriend! Oh, yeah? That's great. What kind of girl is she? She's a year below us, but she came up to me and, well, she said she wanted to go on a date with me. A cute girl named Kana. Can you believe it? But to be honest, she wasn't really interested in me. Uh, Takaru, can we talk for a minute? I would really like to go out with you. Huh? But aren't you dating Atsushi? Well, the only reason I asked Atsushi to go out with me was to get close to you. The one I really want is you, Takaru. You're the one I'm attracted to. How could you do that to him? And why me? Atsushi is way more of a nice guy than me. You should go out with him. You really have nerve doing this. I never want to talk to you again. Just stay away from me. Yeah, I figured something was amiss. I mean, I didn't even know her and she comes up to me and asks to go out? A cute girl like that? A total non-starter if ever there was one, right? Come on, Atsushi. That's not true. Unfortunately, the other guys in class must have heard about this little incident and figured Takiru stole my girlfriend from me. This rumor spread all throughout school, and I was relentlessly mocked for it. You guys are totally mixed up about this. If you knew the whole story, 
You wouldn't be spreading dumb rumors. We warned you about this, Atsushi. We advised you to stay clear of the guy, or you were gonna get burned, and you got scorched! <laughs> you can say that again, and you finally got a girlfriend. What a total letdown, huh? You guys always twist things up. I can't see why Takeru is the one being blamed here. I wasn't really concerned with all the rumors about me. I was more concerned that Takeru was avoiding me. Hey, Takeru, I just got paid. So could you take me to that shop you go to? I want to pick out some new clothes. I go alone, and I'll end up buying some tacky clothes. Sorry, Atsushi. I'm a bit busy today. Alright, sure. Okay, how about tomorrow? Sorry, I'm busy tomorrow too. How about the day after that then? I'm busy for the foreseeable future. Sorry. What the hell is wrong with Takeru? Why doesn't he come to school? I was irritated with Takeru's attitude, so I went directly to his house. I'd been there once before, so I knew where he lived. I walked directly up to the door and rang the buzzer. Hey Takeru! Why aren't you coming to school? You sick or something? No, it's just that I go to school, and you'll just get annoyed. I would just cause you trouble. Are you nuts? Why would I get annoyed? But you were overjoyed that you got that girlfriend. Come on, Takeru. Think about it. If anybody thinks that it was your fault that I wasn't able to go out with her, they really better get their heads examined. I should be the one being blamed for not seeing through that girl. She just used me to get to you. Simple as that. You were caught up in the whole thing. You did nothing wrong. And besides, I bet you didn't know this, but I was there when you told off that girl. Don't be so concerned about what these idiots say. We know the truth, and that's what matters, right? Sure, I want a girlfriend. Who doesn't, right? But I want someone that really likes me, not just any old girl. She doesn't know what she's missing out on. Don't treat a country boy like me lightly. <laughs> right. Anyway, don't just stand there. Come on in, Atsushi. Oh, hey. Is this the guy you were talking about, Takeru? Atsushi, right? Hi, I'm Yuki. Pleased to meet you, Atsushi. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Keep him company, would you? I'll make some coffee. Oh my god! Good-looking guy has a beautiful younger sister? Yeah, figures. I can see the resemblance. My brother is always saying he wants to be a cool and outgoing guy like you. He goes on and on about it. It's annoying sometimes. <laughs> He's always talking about you, so I was wondering what kind of person you were. I was behind the door eavesdropping on you guys, and I have to say, my brother was right. You are cool and outgoing. Holy smokes! A beauty like this telling me I'm cool and outgoing? Man, I'm really glad I left my hometown and came to the city! I was talking to my brother earlier, and he says that you're looking for a girlfriend. Is that right? Uh, right. I do want a girlfriend, no denying that. Do you have someone in mind? Maybe you can introduce me to someone who doesn't mind an old country bumpkin like me. I'm good with my hands. I can fix things and do house chores, even cook. All right then, how about me? I'm available. Pardon me? Really? I'm a bit like my brother that I'm shy and subconscious, so I'd really feel safe around a guy like you. How going at all? You'll protect me, right? Are you sure you're talking about the same guy? You've been around your good-looking brother way too long! Yeah, well, my brother's attractive for sure, but I'm more interested in you. The way you believe and stick by your friends till the end, that's what I find attractive. Hey, Takeru! You okay with it? I mean, your sister going out with a country bumpkin like me? I never thought of you as some country folk or anything of the sort. I always thought you were very cool, Atsushi. Yuki was attending classes at a nearby woman's college. She would stop by after class and meet me at the campus every day. Her beauty was on the level of Takeru, and with her standing there in front of the school every day to meet me, she attracted considerable attention with the guys at school. Sorry, I already have a boyfriend. Oh, hey Atsushi! Where have you been? He promised to take me to the new cafe. Oh, hey, Yuki! Sorry to keep you waiting. 
What the? Why is Atsushi going out with that be- Where did he meet that cute girl? Hey, Takaru. You want to join us? Yeah, sure. I wanted to check out that new cafe, too. Oh my god. Is that Takeru's sister? Yep, that's right. She's Takeru's younger sister, Yuki. And she's also my new girlfriend. <laughs> I guess you guys can no longer say Takeru will steal my girl from me. Or that he would use me, huh? Sorry to disappoint you guys. <laughs> and I've always said this. But Takeru's not a bad guy. Nothing like the guy you guys think he is. If I get a girlfriend again, I'll try and make it work next time. I won't just let it go. I'll try persuading her. Yeah, I'm sure you'll succeed. What girl can resist you, right? During the summer vacation, I took Takeru and Yuki to my hometown. I want to be like you, Atsushi. I want to climb mountains, run, Get in better shape, like you! Come on, Takadu. That's not possible. You practically faint when you see an insect. You can't stand the sight of the blood. That's why I want to work out. Get physically stronger. Hey, Takaru! Just caught a beetle! Look at the size of this thing! Ah! Get that thing away from me! <laughs> Takeru! You look so handsome and all. But we really have to do something about your squeamishness with bugs. These beetles are so cool! Yeah, I know. I've got a lot to learn. Atsushi's attitude towards life, his optimism, is so heartwarming. I really admire his outlook on life. I guess Takeru is right. What's really cool is the fact that you have compassion and understanding. It's not only about being attractive. How did you like today's story? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you tomorrow! Bye-bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.